Hi everybody, welcome to this resource, which is designed to help learners develop their reading skills both in their current course and as they go on into employment. Now this resource is designed as a quick overview of some ways of using the reading comprehension cards that are provided with the resources. And I'll just give you a quick overview of why they're important and you can refer to more information than some of the other resources. Essentially, it's got to do with the difference between good comprehenders and not so good comprehenders. And here's the difference. Usually learners who are poor comprehenders tend to have this belief that you should read at the start of a text or at the top of a text and just read your way down. And what tends to happen is they start reading and uh, they're not too sure about what they're reading or they're not understanding, but they just continue to work on through and they continue to read and read and read. And so their, really own, their only strategy really is to read and reread, read and reread. And as you can imagine, this gets increasingly frustrating for the learner. They get to the end of the text and they still are not too sure about what they've read. A couple of red flags around this might be things that the learners say. For example, uh, I can read, but I don't understand or I don't remember what I've read. Those are red flags that learners are able to read all the words, but maybe they're not making meaning or making connections as they're reading. In contrast, think about what a good comprehender does. A good comprehender constantly has this question in their head, am I understanding what I'm reading? And so when they start to read, they begin to read with this question in mind. And the moment that they don't understand what they're reading, they stop and they take action. And what they do is they have like a toolbox, a mental toolbox of strategies over here. And so when they realize they're not understanding, what they do is they take an appropriate strategy and they apply that strategy to the text. For example, it might simply be, you know, I'll read the first sentence of each paragraph to get an overview of this text. And then they'll do this, and then they'll come back and read it, begin to read, and ask themselves again the question, am I understanding what I'm reading? Still not. So they'll go back to the toolbox and select something. Good readers, good comprehenders, I should say, in the learning progressions, are not just great readers, they're people who have a toolbox of strategies that they can draw on. I'll give you an example. In the learning progression, step six, a learner is able to select from a wide range of reading comprehension strategies and apply them. So a good reader in regards to the learning progressions or a good comprehender is somebody who has a toolbox full of strategies and knows which ones to use for the type of text that they're reading. So these cards are designed to get your learners thinking about how to use these strategies. There's really two things that you need to do uh, to get learners using strategies in their reading. The first thing is to convince them that great readers use strategies. Number two is to get them to actually start using and applying the strategies and working them into their reading. And both of these are very challenging. So the question is, what are the strategies that good learners or that good readers use and that poor readers don't use? Well, just to rearticulate this again, poor readers tend to have one strategy, that's the start at the top, and work their way down and read and reread. That's pretty much it. In contrast, there's a range of strategies, and these are behaviors or actions that readers can take to help them really understand what's going on in that text. And these might include things like reading the first sentence of each paragraph, for example, which is a topic sentence. You know, so just reading the first sentence in each paragraph throughout the text so you get an overview of what that is. Uh, another example might be just going through and highlighting the sentences that have the main ideas in them. Maybe you might say to your learners, hey, highlight the seven most important sentences in this text. And what this does is, as they're reading, they're thinking about whether these sentences are important or not. So it changes the orientation a little bit from just trying to read and collect information to thinking about what's in the text and what's important and what's not. So they're becoming discerning. So strategies are actions that readers take when they're trying to understand a text. In regard to encouraging learners to use strategies, one of the ways to do it is to cultivate a classroom environment where strategy use is the norm. And one way to begin to do this is through modeling. So what I might do is I might hand out a text to the learners, uh, pretty heavy, something that they probably wouldn't want to read, maybe just after lunch, you know, that sort of thing. And uh, I might also put it up as a PowerPoint or something like this, hand it out to the learners and say, you know what guys, I really don't feel like reading this whole text. Uh, what's a strategy we can use to find out what's in this, what the author's saying, without having to read the whole thing? And then they'll uh, you know, come up with ideas and so on. And I might have introduced a strategy such as reading the topic sentence. 
of each paragraph, which gives you the main idea usually of each of those paragraphs. So I might just put that out to them. Hey, how about we just read the first sentence of each paragraph and, uh, and then we'll see where we go. See if that gives us enough information. Now the learners are very happy to do this because they really don't want to read that whole thing. And so we do that. So we just read the first sentence of each paragraph and I might model it on the board if it's there. And uh, once we've read the first sentence of each paragraph, then we have a discussion about what's in the text. Hey, what was it all about? What's the author trying to say? And let the learners have discussion and so on about what that is. What tends to happen is that there are some areas where we want to find out more information. There's a bit of a debate in the class. And so what we can do then is go back and read a couple of specific paragraphs in depth. So we won't read the whole thing. We'll go back and we'll look at maybe one paragraph and we'll read that very, very carefully. We'll read the main idea, the topic sentence, and then we'll look at the author's supporting details in that paragraph, and then we'll talk about that as well. Now, a lot of learners think that this is kind of cheating, you know, uh, but I'm always telling them, and this is part of cultivating that classroom environment of strategies, this isn't cheating, this is being strategic. Good readers are strategic. We're using our energy in the right place. So we're not being lazy, we're not cheating. What we're doing is we're using our resources in the right place. So that's one way that I've begun to introduce using strategies into classrooms. In regards to getting learners to using strategies and getting them familiar with the strategies, what I've done in the past is use a pack of cards, put them in the corners of the rooms and asked groups of learners to go and get a pack. Now, what I asked them to do is just put the cards face up and look at the strategies and organize them into two groups. Strategies that I really like or might use, strategies that I definitely wouldn't use. And this is okay. What you'll find is the groups will uh, quickly put things into the uh, won't use it category quite clearly. And usually these are things that they're unfamiliar with or they just seem a bit weird to them. But what you'll get is you might get three or four over here that they do like. And you'll also find when you have a discussion about this that everybody has got something different. This is great. So what you want is you want your learners to become discerning about which strategies they like and which they don't. And so the idea is that each group would maybe have three, four strategies that they really like to use, and then we can begin to apply. And so we'll just pick one of those strategies. Usually, um, you know, reading the first sentence of each paragraph is one that pops up. It's a nice, easy one. It reduces the workload for the learners, so they tend to all like that. So we might just begin to use that and apply that to our daily reading as we go. We might do that for a week, a couple of weeks, before we introduce a new one. But the idea is that toolbox now has one strategy in it. Read the first sentence of each paragraph and we want to get more and more strategies in there that the learners can use. The second way that I use the cards is I'll hand out a text to the learners that they need to read and perhaps we're going to read through this um, and then have a discussion about it. So we're going to be doing some learning from reading. The learners will have the pack of cards on their deck and the idea is that they select two straight off the top without knowing which they are, turn them over and look at them. They have the option of either selecting one of those two cards and applying them and the whole group has to use them. Or if they don't like those strategies, they can go for a third, flip over the third. However, if they choose to take a third card, they have to do the strategy that's on the third card and apply it to that text. And so you get all sorts of interesting things and it makes it a little bit interesting for the learners. They then apply that strategy whether they like it or not. And the idea is we have a discussion about two things. We have a discussion about, first of all, whether the strategy was actually useful, whether it helped them to understand the text more. And often learners are a bit not, you know, they're not sure about this, whether it really helped them or not. But again, the research is pretty clear that learners who have strategies and use them comprehend better, retain and recall information more than those who don't. So it's good practice for them to do it. It's okay if they don't like the strategies. This is a good thing. What they'll tend to do is begin to develop their own type of strategies and they will incorporate it into what they're doing. So you allow them to use the strategy, have a discussion about the strategy, and then about the content of the actual text itself. And sometimes I ask them at the end of it, boy, uh, you really look like you know what's in that text and you've discussed it. It seems like that strategy really did work, you know. Build them up. To sum up, you know, strategy use is really important and learners who use strategies do better than learners who don't. But there's two things. One of them is convincing learners to use them and often they're not sure about the need for that. And number two is getting to learn learners to use them 
because learners are often in the mindset, boy, I just want to read this thing and get it done. Start from the top. So part of solving this is about modeling good practice to them, doing it as a class and talking about it. And the strategy cards are a really useful sort of tool in your arsenal for helping them do this. So wish you all the very best. Good luck.